We would be honored if you would join us. Hey, Star Wars fans and collectors, welcome back to another episode of Clone Wars Thursday Throwbacks. We're going to Plo Koon in his snow, cold weather gear, snow outfit. I don't know what you want to call it. Um, so Plo Koon and Kit Fisto both featured in a comic book, Clone Wars. So we didn't see this outfit in the series, um, but there was a comic book out at the time. I think it was a short series, a short run. Uh, where Plo and Kit Fisto go on a mission together into a... I can't remember the context of the comic. I don't think I... I may have read it digitally once, so I don't think I ever owned a copy of the comic. Um, so they both came out in the Clone Wars line. Plo Koon here was later re-released in the sort of movie heroes sideline, um, when a few of the Clone Wars figures got re-released. Um, when The Phantom Menace was released in 3D, there was that sort of movie heroes weird line um to sort of coincide with that release and yeah like i said a few of the figures got re-released so plo Koon got got a little extra release there as well um i do have kit fisto this is one of four figures that were featured in snow gear including anakin and obi-wan which were released earlier in the line and then there was the uh the sort of the cold weather captain rex as well which i'd love to take a look at one day because it's um you know, quite a unique looking figure. But yeah, in terms of unique, Plo Koon here definitely is unique. Um, unfortunately, I don't have any of the packaging or the cards. So, and I know for a fact I bought this one twice. Because <laughs> I, uh, I did come across another one of these masks. And I know I have the body of Plo Koon somewhere. So I did some customizing somewhere along the line over the years. But, uh... Memory escapes as to why I didn't keep the keep the card back to to either of the releases. So I do I'm pretty sure I remember picking up Plo and Kit Fisto in the same day. So yeah, if you want to if you want to take a look at uh, the Kit Fisto cold weather version, drop a comment below and I'll um I'll add him to the list because that, that was a quite a cool figure. Um, no pun intended. So yeah, accessory wise. He did come with his lightsaber. I'm sure there were some other weird Clone Wars gimmick some of the figures had back then. I'm not remembering what it was. Um, but at least we got his lightsaber, which is the important part. Nice vibrant blue blade. That's cool. And then he gets his snow boots. Which are actually removable. <laughs> with the peg. So unfortunately, once you've got the shoes on, you can't use the uh, the peg stand, so you have to take the shoes off. But the uh, pegs are nice and tight on that one. Yeah, it's fallen off. So we've done the peg stand. And then the uh, extra mask, which literally just sort of pops onto the front of the head. Now this is still probably one of my favourite Plo Koon head sculpts. From the Clone Wars line. There were a few Plo Koons released um, over the years in the Clone Wars. But yeah, this one is easily the best best iteration of him. And I'm just trying to move some lighting around just to get a better look. So you can sort of see in terms of you know the sculpt and, and weathering on his head. Pretty remarkable. It's really nicely done. You know, it's definitely an animated style. Definitely doesn't sort of fit in with your with your legacy sort of live action versions. But still, still quite cool. A little Jedi insignia on his chest badge there. It's not super straight, but you know that never bothered me too much. You've got the hood, which if you pop off the head, that is removable. A slightly different look for Plo there, but I think, you know, he's wearing a snow jacket, you've got to have the hood there. <laughs> Still rocking the, sort of the clone gauntlets on the arms there, over the snow jacket. And sort of the wrapped... 
the wrap boots. And given the Plo Koon did have an alternate appearance, I think it was season six when he was on Obadiah with with his battalion, they found Sifo Dias's lightsaber. He had a very slightly different, slightly different mask that helped with the uh, the atmosphere there, which I would love to see a figure of at some point. We got the uh, Commander Wolf in that from that episode. And it wasn't the greatest figure, but it was still cool that they did it. But yeah, much like the the Sacy Teen action figure I've reviewed from the Clone Wars a few weeks back, um, you know, just sort of a nice sort of homage to some concept artwork. And, and artwork from the comics, obviously, you know, respectively. Um, yeah, he gets a little bit of a sort of a clone inspired sort of mask. You know, it'd be cool to actually have that sort of sit flush on his face, you know, right back in there and fit around it as an alternative to his or his mask that's already on there. You know, if you've got a second one, display him like that. Just a little point of difference, I think, on the shelf. I personally don't. I think Plur looks way too handsome <laughs> the way he is. He is my boy. For those that don't know, Plo Koon, favourite Jedi. Um, rivaling only Quinlan Voss. So we can pop his little slippers on there. Little snow boots. And yeah, very, very sort of underrated figure in my opinion. I think he looks, I think he still looks fantastic, still holds up to this day. Articulation wise, is pretty solid, you know, ball jointed head as we saw before. Ball joints, ball hinge in the shoulders, ball hinge in the elbows, swivel in the wrists, a swivel at the waist, a swivel at the hips. Ball hinge in the knees. No ankle articulation, but, you know, that's pretty much standard for the time. A lot of these Clone Wars figures, you know, they they had their limitations, but, you know, they still, they were still damn good action figures. So there's Plo Koon in his cold weather gear. Really, really nice figure. I still really like this one. So as I mentioned last week, I will be taking a break from Clone Wars Thursday throwbacks next week, um, but the following week I will return with a new batch of videos to go up. So in next week I will be just uploading one singular video, it will be my 2024 room tour, so hope you enjoy that. Thank you for watching, until next time, may the force be with you, always.